as you're playing your cello, you want to learn vibrato, and the concept is you have a thumb back here. It's going to help you. You can use it as a fulcrum, as we have done before. You use your thumb on the bow, sort of like it's a fulcrum, all for extensions, things like that. You can also use your, your thumb as a bit of a fulcrum for vibrato. And with every single finger that you do, you can start on the bow and a better vibrato, it's kind of hard to do, is going to not move that bow. The less your bow moves, I'm trying to like, the better your vibrato will be. See if I can do this without, there we go, moving the bow less. And there's different ways. This is a big vibrato. This is a gentle vibrato. This is sort of a side to side vibrato. This is a very like, uh, I call it the bel canto vibrato back and forth. It's sort of like a, a sort of a movement back and forth. And then this right here is, is more of like a, like this. So there's a variety to that. Now you're going to put your thumb on the back. Let's just put it here on the nape of the neck. Upper third position. Put your hand perfectly in the upper third position. If you can remove it and put it back, then you are ready. Play the note. Keep two fingers down. And then put your four fingers down. Is it on the F sharp? Then you're good. Try it again. Again, two fingers down, three fingers down, F natural. Play the note. F natural, that's an F natural. It's a Fa bicach, Fa bicach. Notice the fingers, the three fingers are still on the cello. And then place your fourth finger. As you see, my first finger wants to come off. So placing the fourth finger, doing a fourth finger vibrato, you want to lift to get a little more. This is all four fingers down. All four fingers down for the F sharp, upper third position vibrato. It's kind of not as fluid. Let's remove a finger. The more fingers you remove, the more And when you remove all three fingers in the air, you're able then to get a more fluid rubato. But I would be remiss to not show you on the back of my cello here, that thumb is planted. So that's where we start with vibrato. is you're going to have your thumb pinned on the back of your neck and I always like to play right here in the upper third position because it's the last position before the thumb aligns with the first. So the upper third provides this. Notice we haven't done the first finger because the first finger, turning the cello once again, the first finger is behind the thumb. The first finger is not aligned with that. So you need to maintain the thumb higher. I'm going to pop that out so you can see that. The thumb is not aligned with it. That's a bad habit. That is why you do not teach vibrato to beginners. Because beginners line the thumb up with the first finger. And they do this. And this is not the way you play cello. This is the way you play cello. It's such a subtle change. But if you know my pedagogy, you know that I emphasize the thumb and second finger alignment. It never changes. This concept is always the same. Contrasting the note in between a smooth note and a vibrated note is good training because you can hear start smooth, vibrate, flat, no vibrato, flat. So you can also train the interval same again, I'll go four. And by doing this, contrasting between a vibrated note, half vibrated, half flat, 
as a no vibrato, and then another note within the hand position. It can be any, it can be a one, four, two, four. You can then set yourself up with an etude that helps you train your ear and the, and the discipline of the hand. So this sort of stuff right here you see on TV, this sort of stuff is done for us that we can play. We can, but, but underneath all this, under that is this fourth position. And under this, under that is this third position. I can do this because I know exactly what this feels like. And one day you will do that. So start very strict, two fingers down, four, two, three fingers down, one, four, one. Contrast between half vibrato, no vibrato, Train your thumb, pin it on the back. That will help you develop the idea of what it means to have a predictable and in-tune vibrato.